there is a very real possibility that the Fed could be on the brink of cutting interest rates in emergency style. This could be as soon as today and after hours or over the next week or two leading into the March 22nd meeting. And why I say this is because there is an emergency closed door Fed meeting that just took place about an hour ago that was not scheduled yesterday. Let me show you on the economic calendar. So yesterday, this was a video that I put out and you can see this economic calendar says Monday, March 13th, 2023. Notice that there is nothing in red volatility. There is no major events that were scheduled for today. If we take a look at the economic calendar still for Monday, March 13th, 2023, 10.30 in the morning today, there was a major event, a closed door Fed emergency meeting at 10.30 in the morning. This popped up out of nowhere this morning and this is likely happening because the fed the treasury the fdic as well as president joe biden all came out and tried to reassure investors and depositors that their funds were okay at the banks not helping anything. First Republic Bank is down over 60% today. Charles Schwab is down about 20% today. Looks to be the next two major casualties in this situation. I don't even know what you want to call it at this point. Western Alliance is also on the warpath into the ground. Now, none of what has been put into effect has helped at all you are continuing to see a bank run on these financial institutions now at this point you might say how would a fed rate cut help anything here and it's arguable that it might not help anything here but how could the fed actually get away with cutting rates very very soon well number one is that when banks go bankrupt and you have now seen the second and the third largest bank failures in american history which number two was svb number three was just signature bank that was just recently shut down first republic could be the fourth uh western alliance could be the fifth right charles schwab hopefully it does not get to that point uh the list could snowball now when banks go bankrupt it is the biggest form of deflation that you could possibly see. So if the Fed also knows this inflation report coming out tomorrow is not going to be that bad, maybe it's hot, you know, not as hot as expectations, then maybe you could say that the deflation caused by banks going bankrupt leads to or, 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 or could justify, I should say, the Fed cutting rates to try to help the situation at this point what else can they really do uh to help the situation besides the government just buying these failed banks and even at that point i don't know if it's gonna help this situation so hands are really tied here you could be on the brink of a new great recession of 2023 so i think the fed trying to cut rates and honestly, to see what happens at this point might not be a terrible thing. Now, on the flip side, investors might look at this like inflation might ramp up again. Now, on the other side of that, when banks are going bankrupt, right, and you get this deflation, it, which is the biggest thing that causes deflation, you typically don't see the economy doing so well. So when the economy does well, you tend to see inflation. When the economy does bad, you tend to get uh, disinflation, right, or inflation not, you know, going higher. And that's kind of what these bank failures are going to do to the economy it's not going to be a good thing maybe it does give the fed a little bit more room to potentially uh cut interest rates and that is going to be the next big thing that we are going to have to contend with if this ultimately does happen who knows but i don't think it would be a positive thing for the markets because over the course of three days three four days you went from the markets pricing in a 50 basis point rate hike to the market's now pricing in a possibility of a pause 
And ultimately, if the Fed did raise rates, how do you go that quickly from pricing in such a large rate hike to ultimately cutting rates? I don't think it would be seen as a positive thing, even though it would loosen financial conditions. But at this point, what else can the Fed do to try to calm this situation down? After all, I thought uh, this would for sure give the banks a bid today, m making sure people wouldn't lose their money. Depositors wouldn't pull their deposits out. Not the case. Did not help this situation uh, today. Now, on top of that, I do want to point this out for all of you guys, is the option activity on the S&P 500 here today. It is remarkably bearish. You've seen about 2,900 orders total today, about $835.71 million worth with a positive order value of 20%. If you take a look at some of these trades as well, some pretty far out the money puts on the S&P 500 going for a lot of money. If you bring this total value up to the 10 million mark, let's go ahead and refresh Ortex uh, to get the most up-to-date information and go ahead and bring this to $10 million. So we're only looking at some of the largest trades. They're all puts today, right? You're seeing an April 21st, 367 put worth $22 million. An April 21st, 363 put worth $19 million. A June 16th, 380 put for $11.2 million. An April 21st, 363 put worth about $15 million. A April 21st, 367 put worth $17 million. A June 16th, 380 put worth $12 million. Uh, another $11 million put for a 380. Another 380 put worth $12 million. Another 380 put worth another $11 million. And the trades that are just coming in right now are around that 380 to 375 strike. All of those worth in the range of five to $10 million. And these are just looking at the largest options trades here today on the S&P 500. So you are seeing quite a bit of hedging that is taking place place on the S&P 500 here today. So it's going to get very interesting over the next couple of days. There's not too much else to actually say uh, on this. We need to wait to see what happens with these bank collapses and ultimately give it another day or two and First Republic could be going down the toilet. Western Alliance could be going down the toilet as well as well-known names like Charles Schwab. All of their stocks getting absolutely obliterated here today and those are only to mention a few. There's a lot more banks that are down similar right similar percentages uh so overall not a good thing but i did want to bring you guys this information as soon as possible so you can be made aware of specifically this emergency fed meeting or quote emergency closed door fed meeting that is taking place today that was unscheduled and we've never seen this pop up on the economic calendar even remember back in what was it like april or may of 2022 people were talking about a fed cut because the economy was showing really bad signs gdp was going super negative looked like we were already in a recession well you never seen any of those fed meetings or emergency fed meetings that we did see at the time it's it's not like this is a a, a new thing we did see emergency fed meetings they never popped up on the economic calendar and they never uh, happened just in a like couple hour period right we didn't even see this yesterday at five or six o'clock it was early this morning this actually popped up on the economic calendar so i do think uh it's gonna get pretty crazy buckle up keep cash on the sidelines uh you could be starting a 2023 great recession hopefully not but it's not looking so promising as of right now guys so that is going to do it for this video hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already to stay up to date with the most up-to-date current information thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one